Michael Mossi has been replaced as F1 race director by two alternating names. Guido van der Gaard's comments about incoming race director Eduardo Freitas will be music to Lewis Hamilton's ears ahead of his pursuit of F1 world title redemption this season. Hamilton will be expecting another tight battle against Max Verstappen to top the driver's standings in 2022. The FIA dismissed XF1 race director Michael Massey after he was accused of twisting the rules in last season's Abu Dhabi Grand Prix finale, helping Verstappen secure his maiden crown. As part of a significant revamp, Freitas and former DTM race director Niels Wittich will alternate in the role, receiving support from Herbie Blash and a panel of video assistants. Freitas boasts over 20 years of experience as a race director, and former F1 driver Van der Gaard has raced in different series he has judged, and he has given the experienced race director a glowing reference ahead of his F1 arrival but promises stern officiating for those on the grid in 2022, he told GP fans NL, Freitas. He's a good race director. I have known him for a few years. He is a strict guy. Rules are rules with him. If you don't follow them, with him you just get a penalty. Hamilton will undoubtedly be open to stricter officiating, given his documented frustrations with Verstappen last season. He was regularly irked by the Dutchman's pushing of the rules and regulations, and Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff often aimed his frustrations at Massey for allowing him to do so. But whilst Van der Gaard has suggested a debacle like at the Yas Marina circuit in December won't happen under Freitas' watch, he has stressed that the FIA should allow an ex driver to provide support. I think it is also important who will work with him internally at the FIA, who will be his right or left hand, Van der Gaard added, I think it is important that there is an ex-driver who will be looking on, especially with the racing incidents, who did what wrong and who did something wrong, a racer looks at things differently than a race director who may have driven a bit, but it was not his job. There has to be a very good combination in there. They just need to pick one, two or three drivers every year that they can rotate with. They then have to give their opinion on what is happening on the circuits. I'm not your 